Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is Moon Pie. Getting ready here to do your next 10 days or the rest of February love and general reading. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. Um, please do be mindful that these are general readings. They may or may not resonate, but if you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video where I am running a special for the month of February hugely discounted 30 minute phone call reading so do check that out all right scorpio let's take a look and see what your messages are for the remaining portion of february now that we're out of the venus retrograde love is back on track hopefully for almost all of you <laughs> and those of you who don't wish it hopefully love in family and friends okay let's take a look here okay you're starting with the axe breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Ooh, rough start, rough start. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, the chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issue. Hmm. All right, let's take a look here. And stab in the back. Scorpio, you, I feel like you, you feel like you got burned by somebody here. Um, Oh, somebody abandoned you or uh, gave you the silent treatment or cut you off or separated or added like ended something here with you um, yeah it kind of feels it's weird it feels like a um or maybe you did that with somebody somebody okay yeah that's what they're saying somebody was chasing the hell out of you um, because they had a fear of abandonment that's what it is. Yeah. I don't feel like this. I mean, maybe it happened to you. Like I said, the, the messages, the, the roles could be reversed here, but let me just give somebody here was chasing like crazy. Okay. Very codependent, um, had a real fear of something like not wanting to be abandoned. Didn't care. It's kind of like holding on for dear life. You know, it's kind of, I, I'm just seeing an image like, you know, when someone's in a, I hate using this analogy, but it, it just feels like, you know, a drowning person will grasp with straws. They don't care what it is, anything, anything, any kind of hope just to have something not fall apart. Okay. Or not be abandoned or lost. Okay. Um, and it's, it feels like, I feel like you ended something with someone, Scorpio, or you just stopped some kind of pattern in your life, or you're giving someone the silent treatment. Is it on purpose? Maybe maybe not um letting go of someone abandoning something and this person is having a hard time i feel like scorpio you did this because someone brought you a lot of pain they were deceptive um or possible for causing heartbreak maybe you were involved with somebody for uh maybe you met somebody new or you were dating and then you realized this person was a real um like possible potential to stab you in the back or they did okay um as some of you i feel like you had a stalker <laughs> some kind of stalker or something i feel like you just did you, you did like some kind of cut off here with somebody like like leave me alone it's just we it's just somebody was trying to get into your privacy um, trying to get maybe they were trying to hack into your accounts or they were just following you all over or you know, um, just the energy, like really, these cards are rough, Scorpio. What the hell happened to you? I, I just feel like you cut somebody off and, and that cut off actually made them chase you even more. Um, and then I feel like this person got upset or got angry and they were deceptive and lying and saying things about you. Really, really shocking attack, like really turned on you. Um, I feel like you were you just went into protective mood okay you have boom tower card highly logical male and that can be female it's masculine or feminine um tower moment here there's some type of like tower moment occurring you know maybe you're going to be doing this it might not be something that you've done already maybe it's something that you're like going to do this and i feel like it's gonna have a ripple effect but it, it feels like it's something that's for the good. If somebody is obsessed, 
it, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be like a group of people. It feels like you're in this place where I see you just being like, you know, I got to give this the X. Like I got to just not, I can't, like you, it's, I don't know if it's creepy or scary, but a lot of chaos involved in this. Like a big, huge storm here that you're just like, you're standing firmly in your convictions. You know that there's something, a person, place, or thing here that you got to like ax out of your life here. Highly logical person. So I feel like you're being very strategic in this decision that you're making. Um, being very honest with yourself and maybe with others. Okay. Um, and this could also be someone that you're talking to that's supporting you um, or just trying to understand or help you with something. I don't know. Some of you, I mean, this could go as far along the lines of like um, someone chasing after you on social media. There may even be a restraining order or, you know, a cease and desist letter or uh, just somebody really like striking striking you shocking attack like the lightning like the tower like when lightning hits you know and i it's just i feel like there's some kind of pattern you're trying to stop somebody's pattern or you will be um for just invading it feels like an invasion let's see okay so the highly logical male um that represents a sign of aquarius libra and gemini okay oh and direct honest female Another air sign again. Okay, two air signs. So, hmm. This is really just like a lot of truth coming out. So for the, the feminines, this is you being real with yourselves. For the uh, masculines, this is you being real with yourselves. I'm going to clarify a little bit more why these two cards are here. I feel like you and, an and, you and another person are just butting heads so badly. This is what I feel like. Um, very powerful energy. Um, somebody just chasing after you. And I don't feel like you, um, well, I, in a way, I don't feel like it's natural for you to just every day go around stinging people. But I feel like in this situation, your stinger is coming out for sure. And there's some type of thing going on here, some kind of argument or, or um, something that can't be resolved and it's it's a problem I feel like it's a problem okay, oh my gosh toxic city something's got a hold of you breaking this chain seems impossible take it a day at a time healing doesn't happen overnight face your fear pray for guidance ask to be lifted out of this this is a time of deep struggle no you're not alone wow Scorpio this is this is crazy I mean these this is this is like stalker energy. This is like somebody, people, places, or things that are just coming after you and they are like not wanting to let you go or leave you alone. I don't feel like you're in danger. <clears throat> I don't feel it. It doesn't mean you're not. So you kind of have to just take a look at this situation on your own and assess it yourself because I, I don't know who I'm speaking with here or speaking to and I don't know exactly what's going on in your life, but it seems like you need to you need to like lay the axe down you are not lay it down you need to like put put the axe down like cut somebody off end something here if you haven't already um stop this pattern of abuse or if somebody's giving you silent treatment and then they're chasing you again and then silent treatment chasing you feel stabbed in the back or you feel someone's being deceptive and um is attacking you in some way you have to get away block 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 all right, let's take a look at the tower card. So that's your card. Uh, that's a Scorpio card. That's like um, generally unwanted change, ruin, disgrace, upheaval, and maybe violence. So I don't feel comfortable giving a reading like that. Um, so I feel like if you feel that this is it could be a situation that could turn violent, I feel like you need to um, really do something about that. But I, I mean, it's a general reading, so... Just keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay. Page of Cups. Mm. Ooh. And the Four of Wands. Okay. This is, oh, okay. I feel like, Scorpio, that you were talking to somebody or somebody was talking to you and it was very sweet. And there was like, 
maybe it was something to do it could be a family member or something to do with your home um, or where your family is with the four of wands um, I feel like there was a desire to have a very strong uh, build some kind of foundation or maybe you thought that this person was the person for you but I feel like with the tower coming down on this four of wands because that four of wands energy does represent um, family friends reunions um, uh, it looks to me like you're cutting this out whatever this is you're not you know you're cutting off being sweet or communicating with someone with the page of cups um, somebody maybe owes you an apology or you feel like they need to apologize and you don't even want it now because they're just getting weird on you <laughs> and you're just like no no I'm not dealing with this obsessiveness I'm not dealing with somebody invading my privacy not giving me space not allowing me to breathe I feel creeped out that kind of energy here it could be with family members it could be with friends it's just it's difficult energy let's take a look at highly logical male okay so it's a Libra it's not you unless you're on the cusp of Libra Scorpio um, for some of you it's a Libra um, for some of you it's um, a mother and a father okay um, hmm for others this is somebody that maybe you were talking to and they had a significant other and you didn't know about it and it could be the the significant others that is coming after you um, so like if you were talking to someone that was in a relationship um, uh, their partner is coming is you know doing something here I don't, this creeps me out with that stabbed in the back kind of thing just please protect yourself Scorpio whatever you're doing don't get yourself uh, I, I don't know that you are I don't see any deception where you are doing anything um, I feel like you were just being you and I feel like somebody's getting really jealous or there's um just very obsessive energy what is this direct on this female oh okay this is what it is this is what it is oh I love when the story <clears throat> continues I don't love the story but I love when the story fills in um I feel like you were or you will be talking to someone not knowing maybe finding out that they're in a relationship or that they're married um and this person whoever they are wanted to be with you but I feel like their their person finds out and you got to do this cut off real quick or you find out that they actually are with someone and they're getting crazy over you and then there's like a lot of people involved <clears throat> and you're out of here you're like oh no 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 I am not playing with this and I feel like the person that maybe you were you are talking to or you will be talking to they have a lot of regret and remorse okay because um either they get caught or they they were lying or they were deceitful and now they and you know they feel abandoned and I feel like they're gonna they want to retaliate there's a retaliation here so it's very toxic it's that devil energy somebody's very addicted to you obsessed with you a lot of anxiety oh this is just what is this reading what is this oh my gosh so much anxiety and stress could be a Capricorn um, man this is so bad bad in the sense I mean it's good that maybe you're hearing this and it's something for you to like be forewarned or take precaution like make sure you whoever you're talking to um, get the details on that person or find out because so many people lie about things and there's something about you Scorpio that you have that magnetism and people are drawn to you and people will just you know give up whatever just to be with you and you like that in a lot of ways but it, it gets you in trouble it can get you in trouble and it's not your fault but you have to be a little bit more careful I feel like with people that you talk to because I feel like there's like a jealous significant other or the person you were talking to like chasing after you it's very very it's troubling it just feels troubling to me for you all right let me see I just want to get clarification on this Empress okay wow ten of swords yep there could be um, this could be a mother or a father figure or that's whoever you were talking to or whoever it is um, somebody saying end it now they may be making a threat okay um, 
there may be a pregnancy, somebody gets pregnant, and um, there's a procedure to end the pregnancy. Um, it's very heavy energy, Scorpio, and I feel like I, I just kind of get a sense that like your thing is what you were just talking. You didn't mean any harm. Um, you're. I don't feel like you're to blame, really. I feel like you just got caught up in some bad, you know, that, that shit drain <laughs> was driving past and you accidentally hopped on that train not knowing this is where it was going. So, eh, I don't really care for the energy too much, but let's take a look here and see. Because I feel like you ending something is, is, what, is what the right thing is to do, but I feel like somebody's going to be chasing after you, you're going to be spewing your name, smear campaigning you all over social media, um, saying all these things about you, um, making themselves look better because they got caught doing something or what have you and, and playing, maybe they're playing the victim and, you know, a lot of betrayal here with the Ten of Swords, um, just like rock bottom, complete and painful ending. Let's take a look and see what this, this is a lovely love reading. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so some of you might have um, someone in your life that, I, I don't, like Scorpio, I hate to say this, but I'm not going to say it. You might have somebody in your life that um, maybe there was um, a separation with someone and then something else occurred here. Or you were talking to somebody else and that was like, no good. Um, I feel like you're being asked here to work on your partnership with somebody that you um, really truly love. I don't feel like you really truly love this person. Even if you did, it, it, it's almost like I feel like you come to terms with wait, what this is or what this person's really about. And um, there's a chance that this person would try to destroy everything in your life because they're not getting what they want. So if you have a, another relationship or someone that's really important to you, I feel like work on that partnership. Their message is here. Okay. Your love life is being affected by children. That's interesting. Okay. You might have children with someone as well that um, maybe there's a something here about working on that partnership or that former previous relationship with someone. I, I feel like for some of you, you're looking on a past relationship and not all of you, but some of you with someone maybe you had children with and it's kind of like, oh, I think, I think that, um, I almost feel like this is for the cross watcher where I feel like just looking back on a past relationship and being like, wow, compared to what um, I just went through, I think that maybe um, that other relationship, actually nothing holds a candle to that. Now that's just a very small message for some of you. Another relationship that you, um, maybe it's given new relationship a chance as well. Find someone who is evenly matched to you, someone who you can play with and have fun with. Okay, one more. Okay, and letting go of control issues, allowing things to unfold naturally. Yeah, I just feel like these cards here are separate from this situation here. I feel like um, either give your relationship a chance or give another relationship a chance. You might meet somebody that has children, okay, which might be better suited for you, single. Um, I just feel like you, I feel like your intentions were good, but I feel like you get caught up in something here that you need to be just keep somebody away from you because the energy just feels really potent and very toxic. Potent and toxic. All right, let me see. What are your charms here? Okay. Oh, you have the star. Oh, geez. Beautiful healing energy. Somebody might be in the public eye or work in um, entertainment. The star here is renewal. This is healing. This is having hope again. Aquarius energy for some of you. Um, this just gives me a sense of like ga gaining some inner clarity about something. Okay, that just gaining some inner clarity, looking towards the light, making wishes upon stars for what you want for yourself and not, not wanting that negative energy. Um, Hold on, I'm trying to see. Sometimes these charms pop out and the way they're mixed up is sometimes kind of hard to see. 
Hold on, let me get a better look. Kind of looks like a dragon. It looks like a dragon. It actually looks like um, a Chinese dragon. I know we're in the Chinese New Year. Uh, maybe somebody's um, Chinese sign is a dragon uh, or something to do with a dragon is very, um, is connected to you in some way. Let me see. Okay. And then you've got a moon with a star. Very pretty. Moon with a star. You got stars and moons and a dragon. Very interesting. Some type of connection with this with this moon. I don't know if this is like it could be an emblem on a flag. I'm not really sure what emblem would be a moon and a star. Maybe you can leave a comment if you know, or I'll look it up later. I'll have to look it up. I'm not really sure. Um, it could be connected to a country. Um, obviously, if it's a flag. But something here about a moon, moon star. Uh, moon, stars in the moon, moon and stars. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Y you know, Scorpio, I'm, uh, you know, the way the messages come out the way they come out. And luckily, this is only for like the rest, <laughs> the second half of February here. But hopefully, um, if you get this message prior to getting involved with anything or any shady situation or activity, that you will do a little vetting first before you dive deep, um, just to protect yourself a little bit better, um, because you do like to have your privacy and you do like to have your your safe place. So um, yeah, just maybe this might be more of a little bit of a forewarning um, if you're out dating or whomever you're talking to that you just take it real, be careful. That's all. All right, Scorpio, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.